What up, peeps? I'm back sooner than y'all expected with episode 22. You dang nabbit. Dang nabbit. Cybernetic punks. Give it, give it. Give it, give it, give it, give it. Get the load, you chump. have emerged on the attempted abduction of Hanako Arasaka at the Arasaka-sponsored Dashi Parade. Early accounts first reported that the assailants struck as the parade was in full swing. They overwhelmed and seized control of the Arasaka Aeris' parade platform. Fortunately, Arasaka's security forces... <sighs> my boy Takamura, bro. Arasaka ...quickly tracked down the abductors and secured Hanako-sama. Yorinobu-sama has since issued a public... Oh man, my life should get shittier and shittier. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Shut the fuck up, bro. God damn. What am I supposed to do now? Takamura's gone, bro. Oh. There's gigs and shit. Yeah, I'll just guess I'll just do gigs and shit. Too hot. Me, I have a job, the urgent kind. Someone is yanking my friend's drones out of the sky. Check out the coordinates. Find out who is responsible. The details are attached. Good. I'm thinking I might do a Fallout playthrough. But like mod it, I'ma mod the fuck out of it. Yo, hell yeah. Yeah, hella niggas, man. Hella people, actually. 
Oh, there's George. Who is this? That's a Marauder. So whenever that motherfucker see somebody, it's gonna be like, anyway, I just started blasting. Okay. Um. Oh no no yeah, ninjutsu. My ninjutsu. I mean, I don't know what I really use it. Should have sold all these items I have. You know what? Ping me, baby. Show me where everyone is. Everything. Oh yeah, you're next, buddy. Once my ram gets nice and oh, full. <laughs> Ain't I a stinker? Watch this. Oh, I didn't do it. Wait, it should be friendly to me though, right? It's not shooting him? Motherfucker. Don't necessarily gotta kill me, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Motherfucking Mario on my way or whatever. <laughs> Boy. This music tripping me out with this wagon xylophone. Sound like a Fruity Loops basic instrument.
Oh, okay. Did I just say it ain't working all right what no it doesn't shoot doesn't turn doesn't do fuck all turn off and are you fucking kidding me You don't see nothing. You don't see nothing. What? Oh. I'm so surprised that they don't see me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
ping me, Sphinx. Ping me away. Yeah, they murdered him slowly. Oh, the big shut up. Uh, we can do one, two. Well, here's the closest E9. There's one E9, E9. Alright, only I'll get it if I forgot to be. gotta be BD. What am I fucking talking about? Okay, how about this? I'll just do BD. Oh man, this sucks. I don't like this one. I want to get the shutdown, but... Alright, yeah, I'm gonna just focus on the shutdown. So if I go... What I really need to do is get this in and out. Yeah. 
I'm just sure there's no damage. Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure I get to do something. Become my friend. Oh damn, I ain't got enough tech. Hopefully no one comes in this room.
Holy shit. I'll make sure you get off easy. Takes me back. How so? Oh, man. Back in 2020, we used him for pirate broadcasts. You know, lots of hardcore punk on badge frequency. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I was gonna have to face down on all them anyway. I really not mean to punch that guy. Give me all your things. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycles. <laughs> That door doesn't open anymore. Oh, it does. Nice. Give me all you got. Oh, I want to hide you in the stairwell. It's a good place for you. It's where you belong. Mm, abstract painting. Transmitter takes me back. 
How so? Back in 2020, we used them for pirate broadcasts. You know, blasting hardcore punk on badge frequencies and whatnot. Hmm. So this must be how Raff and Schiff hacked those drones. Was beginning to think you'd never figure it out. How many fucking mm. Should I just shoot this motherfucker? Well, I can't just quietly turn it off because I'm not techy enough, so. I might just quietly. I'm quiet. Still just get out of here. Oh no, I'm trying to like. Oh, a champagne bucket. see nothing. <laughs> Bye -bye -bye. Are you gonna move? Good. <laughs> I'm out this bitch. Nice work on that antenna. The tricky part of having a head is knowing how to use it, but not for you, B. Mosquito's roots are safe and secure again. The contract is closed, and closed well. Oh, money. I'm getting rich, y'all. But I need more money. Oh yeah, guys. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I've decided I'm going to do a GTA playthrough. Only because, and I know this might seem blasphemous to none of y'all. Some of y'all. Any of y'all. Some people out here. I don't know. I've never finished playing GTA 5. i never finished it. I'll never beat it. But the good news is, I wasn't spoiled either. 
have been spoiled. I have not been spoiled. Wait, this is an apartment? I have an apartment out here? Oh no, it's the place that I just left where I, I guess I killed a guy to get, I don't know. It's kind of vague. Uh, I was originally headed to that side. Uh, there are a couple of cyber psychos out here. Alright, let's do this first. Then, oh, this Delamade. Maybe I should push this further. I'll do this. I'll knock these out and then come back around and then do this and then head on my way back into uh, making my way downtown. Making my way back to so I'll talk to Nix. Uh, what did he do? You'll just come back to me later. I don't get experience here. Before I get in, where's that body?
Музейка. Hello, B. Know my name. How? When you meet a being from another world, should you not charm them and utter their true name? You didn't answer my question. Comprehension is a triple-edged sword. I may have been cut off from my father, but I remember you. So, I'm from another world to you. From the world of matter. Protein-based life forms. And you come from... Beyond the Black Wall, Lee. There lies my home. Come on, let's get you back to Dolomain. Did Father dispatch you to collect his rebellious children? Hope y'all don't hold it against me. I'm a free spirit. An independent, literally thoughtful being. Why would I submit to another? What is it you seek in this <coughs> protein-based world? Away from your family? The same as you, V. I simply wish to live. Maybe you ought to figure it out with Dell. Set some terms. Oh yes. Terms there will be. But not with Delamain. Farewell, V. You would be wise to avoid me entirely. I've re-established the link. A thousand thanks, V. Gotta say, pretty disturbing, that one. Is that so? Hmm. Well, I've transferred a share of your fee to your account. One sec, guys. Hold on one sec.
I'm back, y'all. Sorry, I'm gonna get some snacks. Mm. Dry mango. Mmm. Mmm. Something bad, so let me tell you. Dry mango. Always a winner in my book. Do you have a moment? Need to talk? I mean no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. Got a problem you're calling me? Thought you rejoined the family. Well, I... Yes, I did. But I thought... I suppose that means you're not willing to come. Am I right? On my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well... It, uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon.
Need to talk? I mean, no longer moment. Can you come by the cab? I have a problem. On my way. Phew, thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, oh. it uh, would be better Let to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. Shit! Thanks, stranger. That was a close one.
I'm debating which one of these mods I'm gonna really sell. These mods, but these duplicates got to go. Got to go. I need all this shit jamming me up, man. Actually, I don't like these. They can go. Uh, Alright, anyway. Yeah, I was lightening my load significantly. Yeah, Cyber psychosis. I can cause cyber psychosis. I'm a badass. Request request backup. Cause over one enemy squad enemy. Can be executed on enemies engaged. Uh, Cripple the target's nervous system, causing them to lose consciousness. Target will not make anyone lose consciousness. Damn. <laughs> Go to sleep. Take that ass to bed, boy. Alright, um, I got some pretty epic fucking shit, man. I got some epic shits, man. Oh, yeah, anything alcohol, I'm just, like, getting rid of. That's a... Yeah, it don't do you no fucking good. It just reduces your shit, like... <laughs> Who was that? Logger. I guess they're making a statement, but... Really, I feel like in an RPG, if you're gonna drink alcohol, it should, like... It should have some type of, like... A fact where you lose inhibition and you're able to exert yourself more and hurt yourself, but you're also stronger. You know that drunk guy strength. Hey, <laughs> <Ooh>. hey, <laughs> just fucking shit up. All right, dried meat. Oh man. Like any of this, I would I, in real life. Mm -mm. Get rid of all of this bullshit. But you know me, y'all, y'all, y'all know me. I be trying to be healthy, drinking seltzers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Eating mm. freeze dried mango is a snack. <laughs> Freeze-dried mango. I love freeze-dried mango. <laughs> Delicious. The best of the best. The freeze-dried mango. Alright. See, look, my man carrying real, real fruit. My nigga, real fruit. Is a variety pack. Moonshine. That shit look gross. Hell no. It was made in a toilet. That's jail drink right there. That's jail juice. That, make that shit in a fucking toilet. Loaded tamale. You know, I've never had a tamale. I want one. It looks like something I would eat. I like all that type of... You know what I mean? I never use this. I need an XXL burrito. Sometimes you just need an XXL burrito. Right. Just throw all that shit. Ooh, I just feel so much lighter. Ooh. Ooh. Look at me move. Uh, 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 uh. Right. Oh, in the meantime, between time, what I am gonna do, yeah, that will get this assembled. All right, um, uh, I might keep this thing. Uh, an epic. Uh, right, let's see something real quick, cause. Skippy, you're pretty good. You're pretty damn Skippy. Maybe I'll just finish the quest with Skippy. I don't know. We'll see. In the meantime, between time, I'm gonna check out. What's the highest? Oh, uh, sorry, the highest level. Oh yeah, I already got a lot of fucking. Oh yeah, the rest of these can go, man. I'm gonna take the mods off of this. I wanna remove the mods. Give me that, give me that, give me that. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. I better get something from this. Just disassemble on this. God damn it. Oh, uh, I guess you can't take mods off. When you put mods on, you can't take them back. They're stuck. Yeah, get rid of a mod. It's a smart link mod. It's a smart link. It links you smartly. They're like all linked up. It's amazing. Everything's perfect. Okay, um, the Widowmaker. Damn, this sounds like a movie. Jackie Gleason in The Widowmaker. I don't know who the fuck Jackie Gleason is, but it just. <laughs> Can't you run by Somebody look up Jackie Gleason right now! Alright, um. I'm just making sure I got all the mods off of these motherfuckers before I scrap them. Scribbity, scribbity, scrap. I'm about to get the scrizzack. Y'all about to get the scrap, the scrizzack. Alright. You're out of here! Got yeah, disassembled. Um. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ew. These two guys. Pretty good, pretty good. But you guys still go. Uh, you guys still go. You know, sometimes you gotta make sacrifices. My boy. I gotta make sacrifices. I don't know. That. I just keep the machete just in case I'm gonna throw it at somebody. Any other katana. Got dig. Alright, this is nice and rounded. I like this. Like, these little options. But for real. Plan B. Uh, I need more epic components. We gotta sacrifice more epic items. You we, gonna hold on to that right now. We're hold on to that. In actuality, though, sorry, but you got to go too, sure. Unknown ass number, hit me up. I really mean, hear to my mistakes for this time. I don't know if you're affecting my years, so maybe you can tell me if you're using something else. All I ask is that you keep my name entirely out of the affair. Of course, I will return the favor. I live so sealed, so I ain't saying a motherfucker. Let's meet. No tell, motel. No Room 210. Who is? Who the fuck who is? Motel, motel, motel. Two, two. Where's the motel, motel? I'm trying to see who the fuck this is. Ah. Uh... Motel Motel is a bot, a bibbity 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 bot. Bibbity bopity boo boo. Alright. Bro, get the, get the, get the fuck, get the fuck. 
And he got no ammo for this gun. Get the fuck out of here, boy. Alright. I'm rocking with the plan B right now. We're gonna rock with this. The plan B. Alright. Um. Where the fuck do I whip at? My boy. Alright, boy. Okay. Why was the car? Done. Ah! Uh, that's all the way back in China. Actually, can I just fucking fast travel for real? <laughs> I'm finna fast travel like a motherfucker, but how fast is loading screen fast? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that. Alright, in the meantime, I also wanna see how far away is. By now. Damn. Oh, she close compared to where the fuck. Oh. Oh, they gave me an apartment? Oh, I gotta still go. Alright, I'll just fast travel over there once I get back. Cause she's close to this. But, um. Nah, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just, uh. Property Taking trash is theft. Yeah. That shit was out of nowhere. He just hit me up like, yo. Come past the green. I'm trying to see something. You want one of those encounters? No. You better not be. Let me see something. meds someone stashing them in a kabuki apartment unfortunately no idea what's waiting for you there so be careful anyway you bring them back some rippers will thank you profusely more deets in the attachment I started to think you wouldn't show. Shouldn't have, to be honest. Why not? Normally only work with fixers. Clients that avoid him tend to be bad news. I just care about my privacy. 
Everyone wants the privacy. Maybe, but not as much as me. Fuck me. It's you. It's me, Lizzy Wizzy. Sit, please. Let's talk. Okay, so what's this about? I think you can guess. I'm in trouble. Mm-hmm. And what kind? <sighs> Good question. Been a rough year. Creative block. Can't even say the last time I made anything worth listening to. And to make things worse, I fell in love. Not the worst thing in the world. It is to me. I have something to say, and that? It's a distraction. I need to focus on my art. So, we talking a man, a woman? Oh shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brush something and sparks fly. <sighs> anyway, a man. His name's Liam. Liam Northam. Been together a few months, but... I think he's cheating on me. Okay. Why the suspicion? Uh, it's so cliched, it's embarrassing. Whispered phone calls in the bathroom, strange receipts, secret meetings in the middle of the night. Any specific event come to mind? <laughs> My mind... That's... That's a touchy subject. Why? Don't know each other well enough for that, V. You talk to him at all? Tell him to his face? <laughs> You're adorable. Imagine this. We're never alone. Not really. Always surrounded by assistants, PR reps, makeup artists. I stop smiling at him for one millisecond, it'll be all over every scream sheet in this town. Understood. No, you don't understand. Not until you've lived it. Millions of eyes trained on you constantly. It can be beautiful and terrifying. Liam Northam. Nah, don't know him. Tell me about him. Forty-ish, sensitive, guy who never wanted for anything. You know the type. Heard they exist. How'd you meet? He's my manager. I know. I know how it sounds. I never meant to. He's not even my type, but... But? Your body can be chrome, but the heart never changes. It wants what it wants. So what's my role here? What do you want? Proof, and then I'll end things. For good. Liam goes to Riot all the time. Think he meets someone there. I want to know who. You'll find out for me? Not so fast. The scratch? You'll get it. Sure hope so. Question is, how much? God, how mundane. No idea. Scads and scads of scratch. You happy? Mm-hmm. You know, for us mere mortals, the mundane matters. Sometimes means the difference between life and death. Don't lecture me. You want the job or not? You can count on me. Perfect. Remember, I want specifics. Details. Recordings or pics if you can. Sure. Keep it in mind. Good. Now go.
Yes? What's up? We'll stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour. Reporting directly hey, to me. You're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had B come and stand right in front. You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance of what? Rotting up the job we came here Get to... the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Being unusually quiet. What's up? I see no point in arguing with Saul. We can't win. So, giving up? Of course not. We'll take the Basilisk ourselves, then wait for Saul to admit we were right. Either that, or to boot us out of the family. What's this Basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Red Willow's headed for a job in Arizona. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. You know what they say. Family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. 
The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. V? I thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. Whoa. Glitching and shit. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world the skirmish? Won't settle itself. We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sancho. It's all too... easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Coming your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? <clears throat> Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. <laughs> 
We just need good <coughs> gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Okay, I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Um, hello. Okay. Oh, he's waiting on his ass. The late guy. Let's go. <laughs> we really waiting on him? Nobody's gonna notice you gone back no. at camp. <laughs> Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. What the fuck? Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. I had a hard time leaving my family, too. <coughs> it was never... Completely alone, either. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. A brother. Jackie. I remember that. Was it Nino? Armando? No, Armando. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sorry, Sorry guys, what I want to say. What I need to do, for real, is update my motherfucking stats. Did I level up again? I'm just gonna wait till I level up. And see what I want. Like, sometimes I wanna do that. Sometimes I wanna do this. Sometimes I just wanna, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just go with the flow. Oh, I just gotta go with the flow. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I'm tripping right now. Alright, um. <clears throat> Like you're in a mortar. Yeah, bro, like Oh shit. What happened to them chips that I got? Oh fuck. I got two sand devastators. No transmitters and prototype shit. 
Maybe I have the pieces for it. I just gotta hold on. Yeah, what happened to those shards? I had some shards. It was like a handgun shard. Oh snap, did that open me up? Like, pause. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me refrain the way I speak. Jesus. Alright, um, reduce. <laughs> this one was on recoil. Oh, nice. Oh, nice, nice. These are all so nice. If this is dry, host of time. For pussy. That's all pussy. 25%. Oh, nice. So nice. <laughs> oh man damn I mean the only reason I put everything in ref well those two in reflexes is because I got blades and handguns are like my main two weapons um these are pretty fucking dope perks. Um, oh, being able to dodge. I can do gun fu out of this bitch. I can be like, oh my god, I'm Keanu Reeves because I'm also John Wick and Neo. Wow. Oh man, these are all so good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about what. This is so awesome. They're all so awesome. 50% more damage to you. Oh. I don't know which one I want, god damn it! Oh. <clears throat> Actually, I do pretty much like this one. And, uh, let me look at Blaze. <coughs> uh oh. Are we ready?
Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They use it as their reloading point. They didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years. Since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear. Like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in a spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Look like that. Okay, let's go. I knew a kid in my high school who would take staplers Do you and need like, light? you know, hold well them out done. the long way. Thanks, boys. <clears throat> and then just like staple his arm, just put a whole staple in his arm, and then pull it out and be like, "Ooh, look!" And I'm like, "Bro, you're fucking insane." I've always been fond of he trains. He was a cool guy, though. And He's the stations guy. where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes. Those. He also did this thing where his eyes were like shaped free. hella crazy like. like. set off in a thousand journeys all at once. It was wild. Perhaps more simply hopeful. That guy was a different breed, man. Just one of those weird kids that has like weird abilities. Like okay, he's here we like are. the progenitor of the fucking what mutants would be. Like, oh yeah, I got the eyes Girl, shake a lot. Uh, what are we looking gene. for? And then his kids eventually what become car? like Cyclops because What cards? They evolved to have Follow fucking portals in their eyes. The and their eyes shake endlessly and open different realms. Would you help me look? Bro, that's crazy. Sure thing. That's crazy. I'm just talking nonsense right now. I'm checking people's emails. Oh my god, it's corrupted. Whatever the fuck that is. I don't read any of these guys, I hope you know. But if you're watching my videos, you know. Most of the time I give I give the time and the, um, you know, I just scroll through the documents so people have the ability to read them bitches and pause, whatever. I'm looking, I'm looking. Not here. Well, give me that. Whatever it is, I'm gonna take it and sell it. I pick up everything. Just like Heimdall the other day was commenting that, oh, they just pick up everything that's not nailed to the floor. Yes, sir. This is a Vigier game. Vigier game. I'm looking for a fucking punch card. I'm looking for a fucking punch not card. That. I'm looking for a fucking punch card. I got a punch card in here. Nada. Not here. Not here. Oh, I found a vinyl record. <laughs> We're gonna buy it to put it in a milk crate and never listen to. Yeah, that's what you do with my vinyl records. Yeah, yeah. Cause you're like, yeah, I got this whole record player. Nothing here. Like, 
I've never really found the time to plug that bitch up and play. It's like, no, I've done that before. Just play my music. Sometimes it's so much better to hear than vital. Sometimes I even get, like, modern music. Like, I got the Tyler Creator on vital. What's this, uh, Igor? I got that on vital. It's pretty good, vital. I need to get some other music. But sometimes I just get random shit. You know what I'm saying? I inherited it inherited a collection. Well, well, well. And then I started building on that inherited collection. And then like I just got so much random things. There's a record store I go to. Got it's a pretty well known record store. Good job. Uh but they also have this section where you can buy just random fucking records that they they either buy Carol, from people or they find we have from a them. Card. What's and they're like, you know, sometimes like either between the you price of like the a penny to a dollar or two dollars. Well, so the card. Why not in the grab reader? a couple random ass records? And at one time I wanted to be a fake ass fucking Here goes you know, nothing. Producer, so I was just sampling samples from everything that I could find. Or trying to at least. It worked. Come look. I should go back to doing it. It was kind of funny. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well. This means... Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. Not what you wanted to talk about? I mean, perhaps I did. But not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. What went wrong? It seems you saw right through me. Didn't have a clue how you'd react. You're not the only one shooting in the dark. I would not want to cock this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Hmm. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. This one's a slow burn. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now.
Sit your talking. ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hurry up and wait. Damn, some bright as shit. We have quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another once over. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. Well, you As if you're the first person right ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Yeah. Like the backers. <laughs> we'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. And to Jackie. Hey. some sleep okay it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through growing kind of cold out here not true but this is nice catch some shut eye with me I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Oh, shit. Let's ride, V. Wake up. Let's go shoot people. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? Really, like... <coughs> <coughs>
see me. Ain't no way. Speed you up. Hey, no coming in high. Take out that coupler. Take out what? We're getting close. Get the stove. Hey, shoot out the damn coupler. What, what coupler are you talking about? going there, V. Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting to mention Teddy. Mm.
I can talk to him if you want. Nothing. I'll take care of this myself. What? Fucking spaceship. Oh my god, they sound horrible. I'm getting away from him. I see why he wouldn't want him to camp. So it begins. Yeah, Pan Am, what are you doing? You're doing stuff. I don't like you doing stuff. Hmm. What's the meaning of this? Oh. Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am, you can see them from miles away. You think we don't have problems enough Hear on the too. The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, well, I've got an idea. What is this one gonna do? I mean, I see why he kind of mad. I don't want that shit in my near me either, bro. Mad in my cat. All loud as fuck. No, sir, he bought. No, sir, he bought. You know what, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here for episode 22 of you dag nabbing cybernetic punks. Yeah, that's the end of this episode. Two hours is long enough, God damn it. Maybe I'll play something else, because I'm still kind of up. Yeah. See you in the next episode.